This is one of the newest ID series smartwatches on the market, branded as One Lego ID 208 BT. It's a rectangular shape wearable that features Alexa voice assistant, a nice IPS display and a great battery life. In today's video, we're going to be focused on the ID208BT, a great combination of a smartwatch and a fitness tracker. And before we get started, let's check out the contents of this slim looking box. Inside, you'll find instruction manuals and a warranty card. The manuals also contain a QR code that can be scanned to download the companion app to your phone. A USB A charging cable a silicon wrist strap that needs to be attached to the watch and the ID208 smartwatch itself. To attach the straps, you'll need to locate the two lugs on the back of the watch, slide the ends of the wrist strap through the lugs, lift that little pin on the strap. Once it's in place, it should click, which means it's in. The smartwatch is a minimalist wearable with a sporty curved corners and a single rectangular button. It's a simple looking smartwatch with a glossy finish, available in purple, black, blue and pink. On the back of the watch we can find a 3-axis PPG sensor that is used to measure the heart rate, SpO2 and the sleep tracking, which we'll discuss in a few minutes. There's also a microphone and a speaker which allows to make a phone calls. The ID2OA is 5 ATM water resistant, which means it's splashproof, sweatproof, and can be worn while washing your hands or showering. However, it's not recommended to wear it in a swimming pool or sea for prolonged periods of time, as the salt or chemicals in the water might damage the seals and the metal parts of the watch. The smartwatch has 1.69 inch high definition IPS display with a resolution of 240 by 280 pixels. It's a full touch screen with 5 levels of brightness adjustment. The display is protected by a 2.5D tempered Gorilla Glass and has an anti fingerprint coating. The ID208 I got today is branded One Lego. But there are other rebrands of this smartwatch available. The most popular are Tensky, AEAC and IDO. These smartwatches might also come in various color variants, but we'll be focusing on the pink One Lego ID208. The smartwatch uses a companion app called VeryFit, which is free and compatible with iOS and Android devices. You need to install the app on your phone to set up and personalize the watch. To install the app, you can scan the QR code from the included manuals or from the display of the watch, or simply type VeryFit in Apple Store or Google Play Store. The app is very simplistic but organized in a logical way, provides a variety of features including storing all the data collected by the watch, setting goals for yourself such as number of steps to take each day or a certain amount of weight to lose. Once you've installed the app on your phone, make sure your Bluetooth is enabled. However, do not connect your watch to your phone from the Bluetooth settings menu. To connect and pair your devices, open the companion app, go to device and press scan QR code icon in the top right corner of the app. Scan the code from the watch screen. Once the pairing is complete, the watch will set the date and time to the same as on your phone. You can also customize the display of your ID208 by changing or creating watch faces. To do this, go to the device tab, select watch faces and choose from over a hundred watch faces. Tap on a watch face to download and sync it with your watch. It might take a few moments for the watch face to sync. You can also create your own background by selecting one of the photos from your phone, crop it, setting the font color and the position and tap send. This will sync your customized watch face to your watch. The ID208 is equipped with at least 60 sports modes to help you get fit. It can track your steps, heart rate and calories burned during activities such as walking, running, biking, yoga and swimming. The ID208 also has a smart recognition feature that can automatically detect and switch to the correct sports mode. For example, if you're starting running, the watch will automatically switch to the running mode and start tracking your heart rate, steps and distance. Unfortunately, the watch hasn't got a GPS built in to track your position during walking, biking or running exercises, but the companion app can utilize the GPS location directly from your phone. All you have to do, open the app and start the walking, running or biking exercise from the app and your GPS position going to be tracked and recorded within the app. Talking about sports modes, let's check one of the fundamental and core functions of the smartwatch, the step count accuracy. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. My wife took a vintage manual tally counter and clicked for every step she took. 
This will give her a proper measurement of the step count accuracy of the ID-208. Here is what we got. For 1000 steps clicked on the tally counter, the ID-208 counted 1006 steps. This gives us really good step count accuracy. Now let's check the health tracking. We have a medical grade pulse oximeter here and we will first measure the resting heart rate against the pulse oximeter. Here are the readings. The watch shows 66 beats per minute and the oximeter shows 65. That's not bad, but let's see how it would cope with an increased heart rate. My wife had around 15 minutes on her stationary bike and we can measure her heart rate now. Here's the reading. The watch shows 133 beats per minute and the medical device 129. But I'm not surprised because the body is still recovering from the exercise and also the wearables are typically not as accurate as medical grade devices. Now let's check the blood oxygen saturation levels also known as SpO2. Again, we'll measure it against the medical device. Here are the readings. 98% on the watch and 99% on the oximeter. So I'm 99% happy with that. The watch can measure your stress levels by tracking your heart rate variability. While the accuracy of this measurement has not been scientifically confirmed, it can be a helpful tool for tracking your stress levels over time and identifying patterns that might be contributing to your stress. The noise feature measures the level of noise in your surroundings and displays the results in decibels. This can be helpful for protecting your hearing in loud environments such as concerts or construction sites. The ID208 has a built-in high-quality microphone and speaker, so you can answer and make calls using a smartwatch. It's similar to the older smartwatches with the Bluetooth calls. There's also a frequent contact list, which allows you to add around 20 most frequently used contacts, as well as call history. The watch will also show you an incoming notifications and messages from your phone, so you can stay connected to SMS and app messages. It recognizes text from Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter and many other apps, so you never miss an important information. Another major feature that also uses the built-in microphone and speaker is Alexa Assistant. As you probably know, Amazon Alexa on your smartwatch frees your hands from your phone. Ask question, control music playback, check the weather, set the alarms and timers just by speaking to your watch. Alarm set for 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. So let's do some tests. Alexa, what is your favorite color? I like ultraviolet. It glows with everything. Alexa, are you my friend? We're definitely friends. But are we besties? Okay, one more try. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Knock knock. Who's there? It's a... It's a who? It's a me, Mario! The ID-208 has a variety of other useful features including sleep monitoring, as it got a sleep tracker built in that automatically tracks your sleep quality, sleep time, light sleep, deep sleep, awake time and REM sleep. It also provides a respiratory report showing the quality of your sleep based on your heart rate and the blood oxygen level. Another feature, menstrual cycle tracking. The smartwatch has a menstrual cycle tracker that provides data, predictions and reminders about menstrual periods. This feature can be set up via the companion app. The smartwatch has a sedentary reminder that reminds you to move your butt or stand up after a long period of sitting. I quite like it. There's also a water reminder that you can set to alert you to drink water. The watch has also a music control feature that allows you to control music playback on your phone. It also has a flashlight that can be used in low-light conditions. The ID208BT has a 180 mAh battery, which can last up to 7 days on a single charge with normal use, which includes tracking steps, heart rate and sleep. If you use the watch more intensively, such as making calls and using Alexa Assistant, it might last 3-5 to five days. When the watch will be disconnected from Bluetooth, it will last up to 20 days. This smartwatch is a great option for its price. It's easy to set up and use, has a comfortable strap, is water resistant and has a variety of features including sports tracking, health tracking, call and notification display, Alexa connectivity and a good battery life. However, it doesn't have some of the extras of more expensive watches such as Apple Pay or Google Play. Overall, this is a good value for the price but it's important to consider your needs and preferences before the purchase.
Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss when the next video comes out.